Good morning. I'm Mike Harvey, president and founder of Cimarron Firearms Company. And uh, today I wanted to, uh, to show you where we got the idea for our rooster shooter, which is a copy of a gun that, uh, that John Wayne used one similar to one that I own. Uh, so uh, we thought it'd be good to uh, uh, give the people a chance to, to have uh, one of these guns and uh, because it is a really, really good looking gun. So anyway, uh, what I have here is a Colt Frontier Six Shooter. And uh, I picked this gun up and uh, in a gun show in Houston, Texas in 1979. And this is the replica of, of my gun with these strange looking, strange colored, they're made out, it, they didn't have plastic when these grips were made. These grips were made in the early 1900s. But the material went by uh, two or three different names. One of the names they call it was Bakelite, I think. But, uh, but anyhow, we had to reproduce this material so we could make a replica of my gun. And uh, so we had uh, the guy at True Ivory, I forget his name, but True Ivory, he actually made this plastic in like cooking sheets and uh, then made, made uh, sheets of it and then cut it into shape to make these grips for our first guns that, uh, that we call the rooster shooter. Well, anyway, <clears throat> this is the original Colt Frontier six shooter made in the, you know, the turn of the century. Very nice gun, nice grips, finger grooves cut into the grips. But this is where the gun came from, is a gun show in Houston, Texas. In uh, 1979, we used to, when, when we first started Cimarron, back then it was called the Old West Company. We hadn't changed the name to Cimarron until 1984. But the Old West Company, we were setting up and we had our replica firearms out there, 1873 rifle and, uh, and a Henry rifle and a 66. And anyway, uh, this guy come in, this, this tall Mexican fellow, you know, whiskers, and he was a, a, a bad looking dude, you know, somebody you wouldn't want to mess around with. But he had this gun stuck in his belt, and he walks up to our table and he's looking, and I asked him, I said, are you here to, to sell that gun or to trade it? He said, he said, one or the other, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna get something else or, or it's for sale. And I said, well, look at our line here and see what you think. So he looks up and down the line and he eyeballs that Henry rifle. And he said, I really like that one. And uh, I said, well, that's, that's the 1860 Henry. And I said that, uh, uh, let, me, let me see the Colt. So he pulled this out and hands it to me. And, and I look it over and uh, I said, well, I said, I would trade you that Henry rifle for this gun, but it has to be an even trade because the Henry was the most expensive gun that we had on the table. So <clears throat> we made a deal and, uh, and uh, took care of the paperwork. And then uh, I noticed that the guy had uh, embroidered it on the front of his jacket. He had the name Rooster. And so I assumed that that was his nickname, but uh, I didn't ask, you know. Uh, so anyway, he takes his Henry rifle and goes away. And then, so I'm, I'm the, the owner of this gun. And uh, so I put it in the safe for many, many years. And then later on, uh, uh, my employee, Charles Hudson, he told me that that gun is just like the one that John Wayne uses, you know, that, that uh, so anyhow, uh, I thought, well, that, that's great. And uh, uh, 
it could have it could have been the property of steam stembridge gun rentals or something like that and every once in a while stembridge would sell off some of their duplicates you know to raise money for other things and uh maybe that was one of them but we don't know you know there's no history that 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 is one of their guns but but it was a it was an interesting gun and so we thought it would be worth making a replica so uh we had the we had the 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 grips copied and uh made out of plastic and uh like i said true ivory made these grips for us made the material and then we made the grip and we introduced the rooster shooter which is what we call it uh well, I don't know, it's been 10 years ago. Anyway, then just in the past six months, we get a letter from John Wayne, the John Wayne Foundation, and they think that they should get a piece of the pie because John Wayne used a gun that looked like my gun. Well, I, I give John Wayne credit, he has good taste because that's a, that's a cool gun. And uh, so uh, anyway, we kind of disagree about it because, you know, uh, I didn't copy John Wayne's gun. I copied Mike Harvey's gun. And, uh, and uh, but it does look like the one that John Wayne used. And I named the gun from the guy that sold it to me because on his jacket, he had embroidered his nickname, I think, Rooster. And I'd failed to mention that when the guy turned to walk off on the back of his jacket was the Bandito logo. And it said Bandito's, Baytown, Texas. And uh, so anyway, I'm glad I didn't ask him about his name. Uh, uh, so anyway, so we're, we're, we're still negotiating with the John Wayne Foundation. You know, our argument is that <laughs> True Grit was a book and Rooster Cogburn was a character in the book, True Grit. So the, the people that own the rights to the book would own the rights to the name if anyone owned it. And, uh, and then there's been two True Grit movies, you know? So which one am I copying? Am I copying Jeff Bridges' name or am I copying John Wayne's name? So anyway, uh, I think we have a pretty good argument that that uh, that uh, we're not infringing on anyone's right to make a buck. Uh, so, having said that, uh, I've got on my fake news t-shirt today and you know CNN didn't invent fake news it's been around since the old west the old uh, the old timers in the old west they always had great stories to tell and they'd embellish them here and there and, and uh, over the years those stories would get better and better and better <laughs> so they were the originators of fake news. CNN and MSNBC have only perfected it. And uh, so anyway, back then the fake news was called Wendy's because the, the guys telling the story got pretty windy, like hot air, you know, as they were telling the story. So anyway, that was a... Uh, that, that, that was a common thing. And I got this from Phil Spangenberger. He's the one that told me about Wendy's. And if anybody would know about Wendy's, it would be Phil. Because he was there in the old West, you know. And <laughs> but anyway, uh, so that's the story about how the rooster shooter came about. It was a copy of Mike Harvey's gun bought from Rooster. Now, I'll say, some of you are probably saying, well, old Mike's probably trying to put one over on us with that story, but I will say this about it. I, if, 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 if I was telling a Wendy, it was a damn good one. And uh, I'll leave it to you to decide 
what you think. But anyhow, good day, and we'll talk to you later.